speaker, please. Uh, indeed, uh, the initiative taken by GMI is uh, really praiseable and applaudable, right? The, the platform where we can interact with uh, the technology guys and the investors is some of the things is very great. And I would like to congratulate Suhail, you know. I think he got the best entrepreneur award from CMA as well. And I think that ladder is still going on. So keep it up. I think we will see more stars coming out from Cori Code. Um, I got a very a great responsibility of introducing Vinod. Uh, Vinod is another uh, entrepreneur, like Roshan said in the morning, who has been in the industry for more than two decades now. All right, started from Cori Code, built uh, in Cori Code, a huge history of how they have grown up and build um, solutions around the financial segment. And I would uh, not take much time, but uh, CSAM is a company which uh, uh, we know founded in 93, right? And uh, the only aim of this organization was to revolutionize the financial industry, right? So he, along with his uh, thought-provoking ideas and implementation capabilities have built the organization CSAM, which was uh, very recently acquired by Speridian, if I'm right. So, you know, it's a very uh, long journey, but a very fruitful and interesting journey. Uh, and, and CSAM is a company which has been certified by ISO 9000, so from a quality perspective, it has acquired or achieved all the milestones. Would like to hear from, you know, from his words to see how he has handled CSAM and transformed this organization over the last two and a half decades to get into the next level of Laurel. I would invite Vinod to share his ideas and let's hear from him. Thank you. Thank you, Anil, for that nice introduction. Uh, first of all, thanks to GMI for giving me this opportunity. Thanks to MTR. So, CSAM journey. Normally, IT industry is meant for techies. Do you know how many people, uh, non technical people, started IT company? <laughs> I'm an exemption. I'm a commerce graduate. Started an IT company way back in '93 with uh, three of my friends. So that's the difference. Uh, 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 I'm a first generation entrepreneur. My father was an employee at Gola Ranch Maur. None of my uh, family members are into business, either from father's side or from mother's side. Uh, but I started my business the next day after my final examination of graduation. <laughs> I started with a share broking business. Uh, started, uh, ventured into computer consumables, then started computer sales before knowing what is a computer. And after starting computer business, I had gone for a certification course in Aptec to know what is a computer. So from there, I started this software industry, software business with few of my friends in 1993. Just as Suhail said, initially we had done everything. You know the market in 93 in Calicut. A uh, few hospitals or uh, some big supermarkets and then the computers, nothing else. We started with everything. Started from retail shops, we had done medical shops, uh, laboratories, hospitals, hotels, schools, done everything. All customized application we had done initially. In 95, we got an opportunity with a cooperative bank in Wayanad to uh, they had given the order to Keltron for total automation, system and software, but nothing had happened for the uh, almost one year. So this bank decided to give an opportunity to us. That's our first entry into the banking segment. So one of our partners is also the technical director stationed in Wayanad with few of our technical people because we doesn't know the domain. Nothing, we doesn't know anything about the banking industry. Uh, so he stationed with few of our programmers based in Wynard, started from the scratch. In that days uh, we had done it in Clipper. I don't, many of the technical people doesn't know about Clipper right now. 
That's the first. Uh, actually, it was a customized solution we had done initially. So if we got the banking second customer only after two years. That's in 95. I mean, uh, 97. So uh, initially, that banking automation is also in the beginning stage. It's not easy to get customer base. So we had done everything. We had done services, customized application development. In 2000, we had started uh, uh, um, web, web solutions also. So normally into services, but slowly focusing on this uh, banking segment. By 2000, we had got an opportunity in Trishur to automate almost 15 banks in one stretch. And that's a project called ICDP, uh, initiated by the state government. So in that case, uh, in 2000, we had started developing the second product, the version, second version of the product, and that's in Visual Basic. So that's another, another beginning of the journey. We slowly started focusing into the domain, and uh, slowly the customer base had increased. So we had uh, initiated, we are the um, uh, first to introduce so many new things in the industry. We are focused on cooperative banking. Uh, in 2003, we had done the core, first, for the first time for the segment, we had done the core banking solution. Uh, and 2010, again, we had started developing our third version, that's in the browser-based product in .NET. By the time we realized the importance of focusing on one, one domain rather than doing all the services and um, focusing on multiple domains, so we decided to uh, focus on banking second. We have spinned off all the services activities other than banking into a subsidiary called CSAME Technologies. And the parent company CSAME Software is 100% into banking. From 2012 onwards, we spinned off. So the, uh, definitely this focus gives us uh, more strength too. And uh, we had built a, with a new product, we are able to compete with all the national vendors and win orders. So now we have close to 230 customers and we have a close to a team size of uh, 125 people right now. Expected to, um, to be close to 200 by end of next year, team size. So last year, journey goes on. Uh, we had the, all the challenges, as Suhail said. Finance is one thing. Number two, scalability. Uh, it's not easy to scale up from Caligat. We are not have the right people to, uh, or the right relations or right partners to scale up. Suhail got good partners, but uh, it's a challenge for us. We had tried many partnerships, but it didn't work out. Uh, last year, in 2016, I got a call from a gentleman saying that I'm Girish Paniger. I'm the CEO of a company called Speridian Technologies. We are a US-based company. We would like to get into partnership with you to promote your products. You can imagine my situation. I'm looking, badly looking for partners. I'm getting a call from a US company for partnership. So he said uh, he is undergoing a treatment in Trichur. If you can meet up in Trichur, that'd be good. I'd, I'd run to the Trichur next day, you can imagine. <laughs> So there the relationship uh, with Spiridin starts. The due diligence process, uh, uh, it took almost six months. Now the Spiridin had taken 70% stake in CSAM last year, 2016. So together the commitment is that Spiridin will take uh, CSAM globally. They will take our products globally. They will build the required uh, sales and marketing strength through the team. We will focus on our product development. Uh, we had already built the team. We have a uh, VP sales based in Mumbai. We have a team sales team sitting in Mumbai. We have a marketing team in Bangalore right now. We are going globally, but uh, one difference is that uh, Swahili is focused more on international market for us. We are still focusing on Indian market because it's, there's a huge potential in Indian market, especially for banking domain. So we are confident about the India market and for the next two years we are fully focused on Indian market. So we'll, we have built already built new products to enter into the scheduled banking segment for NPA management. We got the first customer, that's the Lakshmi Bank. Uh, NPA, I, I think you know the uh, non-performing assets, bad loans. So this is a pain area of uh, scheduled banks, almost all the big banks in India right now. To address that problem, we have developed an innovative product and we're getting good response from the market. We have closed the first order from the election bank last week. 
So, in short, that's all. I think uh, um, Roshan has already given the message that we are running short of time. I am limiting. <laughs> it's a message for me too, I think. Okay. No, no, I, I, so that's all about uh, my story. We had started with four partners and uh, now we are a part of Spiridian Group. We are holding only 30%, Spiridian is holding 70%, but uh, my expectations are we might be growing multifold together with Spiridian and we have a plans to go for IPO in three years time. So that's all about CZM. Thank you all. We got uh, uh, four times of our current turnover valuation. That's including the investments coming in future for the sales and marketing side. Any questions? Yeah, I think that that's the problem Sohil is also facing right now. What we have done is that uh, uh, initially, as you know, as a sm small company or as a startup, uh, every people are doing everything. But we are slowly, we had uh, started splitting the team. Programmers are doing even implementation, they are doing the support, they are doing the training, the initial days I am saying. But gradually we had splitted the team, uh, we had built focus team for uh, uh, all those things. Initially, uh, programming and implementation support had split it, but implementation and technical support is done by the same team, but gradually we have split that again. Now, all these divisions are profit centers in the company. Even, even implementation, service, development, everything is a profit center in the company. It's all done by independent managers. So that's the difference we had made, and it made the uh, easiest to manage the things. And the challenges, I would say, uh, yeah, almost we have the same thing. Uh, number one is financial. Now we are looking at the industry, we have a very strong ecosystem. We have people to support, we have um, senior people to interact, get knowledge from them. Those days it's not easy. At least for the last six, seven years, ecosystem is growing. And we have parks now, we have the facilities, everything is there. We have uh, uh, CAFIT, we have uh, NASCOM. We have GMI, we, a lot of organizations are coming and building the ecosystem, but those days it was not there. That's one of the challenges we had faced. We are not getting the right support from the people. It doesn't have the industry exposure. I didn't work anywhere. Based in Calicut only for the last 23 years. So that's the difference, that is the challenges we had faced. But I think uh, with this relationship, it's almost, we are in a good position now, Go, looking forward for a better future. <laughs> Discussions are going on. <laughs> Up to him. <laughs> yeah. It's up to him. We have to decide. Right, Tarun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, CCM yeah, still is an independent company. We are a part of Spiridian group, but on a day-to-day -day basis, we run the show. Spiridian people doesn't involve in, in any of the operations. They, they do uh, involve in only in strategic decisions. And they do support the sales and marketing activities to grow the company further. Day-to-day -day operations, it's completely our headache. They don't involve in, uh, but maybe I told you in next three years time, we'll have a plan to merge with the company for an IPO. That is there in the plan. That is where the real value comes in, as you know.
So the interesting part is that uh, with the relationship, uh, the first meeting itself, uh, Girish Panikar is almost in our same age. So that chemistry workouts well, that's the most important thing for a relationship. Number two, uh, in fact, he doesn't have any plan to dilute the majority stake, but uh, we are convinced, convinced with this approach. He said, I should feel it's a, it has my company. I'll do everything for the uh, growth of the company. Uh, also, one more thing, normally investments comes into the company only. This guy agreed to dilute our stake and uh, we can uh, take up our money. Part of the stake is diluted personally. So that's an interesting factor for us. And number two, our focus was on growth. Company should grow. That way we are convinced with the ability of uh, Speridian. Uh, now it's a 40 billion, I mean 40 million dollar company based in US. This is this guy is settled in US, built the company from US only. So he have he have that capability of uh, sales and marketing. In that way we are convinced. Then that's why we are agreed for a major stake dilution. Exactly. Yes. Spreading people will join our uh, uh, board, director board, but doesn't happen. Mm, paperworks are going on. All the format is completed right now. Probably, I think this is the first uh, foreign investment in IT company in Calicut. I'm not sure about it. Thank you all. Thank you. Uh, before we conclude, uh, uh, I have a friend here. Uh, his name is Shahid Memon. He is from uh, from Gujarat. He is uh, he's got a firm in Mangalore. Uh, he has done his PG in artificial intelligence and robotics. In fact, we are working together for on a project. I request you to kindly hand over the memento to the speaker. Please, Shahid, come.